Hi guys, welcome to Epson's Pro. Welcome to another tutorial video. And in this video, I'll show you guys how you can bulk upload images, product images of your Shopify store. So if you have like hundreds of products or even thousands of products and you want to change the images or update the images and you don't like to manually update them for every single product, like you go to every single product and upload the images for that product, you can do the bulk uploading with the app I'm going to show you guys and it's super simple and currently app is also free. So make sure to watch the complete video in order to learn how you can upload bulk images to your Shopify products. Okay. So the app I'm going to use is pick manager bulk image upload. That's the name of the app link will be in the description. So make sure to check that out. You can see currently is completely free. We have good ratings and that's the page of the app. Now I'm going to share how you can use this app to bulk upload the images, right? So once you install the app, you will have a screen like this. And first you will go to settings and you will tell the app that how you want to match the pictures with your products. So currently I have selected as SKU. So it will match the SKU of the product from your image label. So these are my pictures and I have these two folders here where I have uploaded the images of my products in my development store. Currently I have these three products without pictures. I have deleted pictures from these products and I'm going to share how you can bulk upload. I'm going to test this with these three products, right? And first I'm going to test it with SKU. So what you'll have to, what you will need to do is just add the SKU of your product. So as you can see, these first four images are from one product where SKU is 985 and the dash one is the separator and the picture number that this is the first image. That's the second image. That's the third and that's the fourth image. Now, if you go to settings, you can see that I have mentioned match by SKU. It's going to assign these picture to variants. Even if you have a variance, you can simply add the SKU for that specific variant and it's going to match and upload those image to that specific variant, right? You can also match it by a uh, title. So here we have the title option where it's going to basically match it from the title. First, we will test it with SKU and then I'm going to go to the title version, right? So let's select SKU assigned to variants, parent products and simple products. And here the matching type is full match. We want to fully match the SKU, right? And here we have the option to avoid duplicates. If we enable that currently, we don't need that. So I'm going to leave it as it is for separator. That's what I told you that we can have these three separators for the numbering of image. Here's the detailed uh, description of what it meant. So you can see here that image dash one. So image is the name where we added the SKU and the dash is the separator and the one is the number of that image. Just like I've shown you guys that these are these four pictures are for one single product where SKU is 985 and dash is my separator and one is the number of the picture. So one, two, three, four, we have four pictures for one single product. Similarly, we have these three pictures for the product, sorry, four pictures for the product where the SKU is 987 and dash is the separator and the last digit is for the numbering of that product image, right? Similarly here we have 986 as SQ and three pictures for that product, right? And here we have the option of add image alt tags. So we can also add image alt tags automatically. We don't have to add tags. Manually, we can simply select where we want to get the alt tags from. If you want the variant title to be the alt tag, or if you want the product title to be the alt tag, you can select it. I don't have, uh, I don't need that for now. So I'm just going to skip that. Actually, just let's do the product title and test if it also add the alt tag based on product title. So here we have uh, selected the SKU as the matching criteria. We have selected the separator and we have added the option of all tags, which will be product title. Now let's click on save. And now we will start uploading and it's pretty simple. All you have to do is just click on this upload images. 
and here we have these two option automatic assign and manual assign first we will see the automatic assign that how it's going to work and then we will check the manual assign we also have this tutorial here where you can learn how you can do that but this is also a video so you can learn from my video as well and they have the support as well so here's the chat icon you can simply chat and contact their support team if you have any confusion now let's try uploading note we can also add the zip folder so if you have a lot of images you can simply create a zip file of that folder to upload all the images at once i don't have much images so i'm going to use this uh for now directly so i'm just going to select all the pictures hit enter and once these are showing up here i'm going to click on start uploading okay matching is in progress you can see it's now matching these image with the sku where my sku is 985 right similarly we have this product where it's saying 986 so it's matching based on the sku now you can see that i don't have images for these three products right and now i am going to click on finish upload And you can see the successfully uploaded images. So we have total 11 images and now the successfully uploaded images is also 11. So our uploading process is completed. Cool. Now let's go to our homepage and hit refresh to see if the product pictures are updated. And here you go. You can see our product pictures have been updated. Cool. Now let's try out the title option matching. Let's set the matching criteria to be title. I'm going to go to settings and then I am going to select the title as the matching criteria. Click on save. Click on upload images. And now I'm going to upload the images again. I have created a separate folder for that. So that's the folder for uh, product titles. If I open that folder, you can see that I have the name of the product and then dash one as the separator. Right? So you can see my product name and then dash three, dash four as a separator. Now let's upload these pictures. you can see that it matching is in progress and you can see that it's matching with the product name so that's my product name within the file and that's the matching criteria which is showing up cool let's try clicking on finish upload and here we have this option where it says replace the existing product images or add to an existing image gallery now, as we have already uploaded the images, I already have these images. It's going to add the image, not the replace, right? So we will have duplicate images. If we select the replace the existing product, new images will overwrite the existing ones, meaning it's going to replace the images which we currently have. Let's select this replace the existing product images to see uh, if we have the duplicate images or not. Now let's click on finish upload. Okay, you can see the progress here successfully uploaded three seven okay our images have been uploaded now if i go to my product you can see we don't have any duplicate pictures right it just replaced the images of that product cool now let's try out the manual assignment so I am going to go to upload images again and then click on manual assign and then upload my images. Upload from computer. I'm going to select all of these images. And now let's click on start uploading.
Okay, one thing we need to check is the alt tags, right? So let's click on inspect element for that product to see if the alt tags are updated. Okay, you can see here now that our all tags is showing up. So that's our all tag here, right? Showing up completely fine. And it's been updated on all of the products. Cool, now let's test out the manual one, manual uploading thing. Okay, now here we have the option when we do the manual assign, we can exclude the products where we don't want to upload the images, or we can simply select the products where we want to include the picture. So if you have like 100 products and out of those 100 products, you want only five products to be upload the images for, you can simply include those products. Or you want to upload for all of the 100 products except few products which you don't want to include you can simply exclude them by selecting here so that's how the manual product upload images works so that's it for the video guys i hope you guys liked it let me know in the comment below if you want more clarification about product uploading bulk product uploading using this app and until next video have a great day